fintechs and investment banks are doing a lot better globally not just in india and while sifting through some data today to make some investment decisions i found some hidden gems which i'll talk about in the nugget section today hi everyone welcome to the update of 5th september i have been talking about gold and titan for a while now titan went up 3.2 percent today it was the best performing stock today on nifty on a day when reliance approved the bonus one is to one it is the second worst performer on the index I have not seen such underperformance by Reliance ever in my life. Now today there was a reasonable balance. Two large sectors were with the bulls, three were with the bears. Overall, reasonable balance. Avenue Supermarts or DMart is the only green stock when it comes to food and drug retailing sector. It was up 3.7%. Apparently, it has got an upgrade today. In some ways, Titan and Page Industries are also consumption stocks. They have been on fire of late. Both of them are in green. Nifty had another red day today. Bank Nifty, however, was green. It was the weekly expiry and Nifty traded in a very small range, 128 points. That was mostly a gap up that got cleared out by about 930.10. After that, the range was really small, just 60 points. And I have mentioned that in the last few episodes that on expiry days, Nifty expiry, Bank Nifty is volatile, Bank Nifty expiry, Nifty is volatile. Let's check Bank Nifty. This is where Bank Nifty closed yesterday, 51400, opened with a gap up of nearly 175 points. Just like Nifty, Bank Nifty also came down till about 1030, it made the bottom of the day. The trading range for Bank Nifty also was just 0.4%. So while there was some volatility, ups and downs, at least there was something for the traders in Bank Nifty. Not sure if you will call it just a transient phase or we can conclude that market have gone sideways now. Now the controversy with the Seviu chairperson took another turn today. Today it has been reported that she had two jobs when she was working with ICICI, which means she was getting salary from two companies, not just ICICI. Nifty down, Bank Nifty slightly up, FI sold a little, DI is bought 3000 crores. This data is not updated today, not published yet by the provider. Nifty energy was down severely 0.8%. Next 50 did not go anywhere. Auto was down for the fourth consecutive day, 0.4%. Nifty top 10 mostly had reds only. HDFC was up very little. Info says this number is wrong. The data feed is missing the data from yesterday for some reason, only for Infosys. ITC was up 1%. US markets have opened in the green today. Looking good. Tesla is up 4.5%. Now BT today had a report out today which said buy Mazgaon Dog GRSE. Avoid Cochin Shipyard. I've been saying this for at least 8-10 days now. There is no surprise in the news. RIL bonus was approved. Today gold is up. Silver is up. Bitcoin is down a lot. Brent has a slight uptick. We are 5 paisa away from 84 now. The ADRs are doing fine. But Reliance GDR is looking very weak. 2.2% down for tomorrow. Today's best performers. Titan, ITC, Infosys. Wipro, HDFC Bank. The volumes were high for the Lagards, Reliance, Airtel, Coal India, Tata Motors, ONGC. Remember yesterday's video? Finers are under pressure. Oil India also was down a lot today. Overall, 32 stocks down, 18 up in Nifty 50. Next 50 also 28 down, 22 up. The best performer were Zomato, Dmart, Bosch, Cholamandalam, IOC, Vedanta. What was down? BL, Adani Green. Adani Energy, Bajaj Holdings, ICIC Prudential. Some of the charts today were interesting. Let's start with Reliance. So the range for Reliance was 2.35%. It opened slightly up but came down whole day. Literally no buying interest on a day when 1 is to 1 bonus was approved by the board. HDFC traded in a 7 rupee range. It looks a bit volatile but this was hardly 0.5%. Now ICICI does not look volatile but at least the range was 1%, 12 rupees. ECS was not going anywhere for the whole day but it shot up towards the end. That is where IT had a good closing today. Infosys had a similar graph, it was consolidating but then went up towards the end of the day. Now HUL made another 52 week high today. Let's check Bank Nifty. SBI started towards the lowest point of the day then went up, consolidated, came down. Well, Bajaj Fincare has been up, Bajaj Finance has been choppy, down 0.75% for the day. PFC also was trading in a 2% range, good volatility. At closing time, it was very close to the lowest point of the day. Defense came under heavy profit booking today, every stock was down. Musgaon Dock probably was punished most, 4% down. 
मेटल्स और मिक्स बैग जे एस डब्ल्यू स्टील वॉज डाउन बट हिंदुस्तान सिंह रिकवर्ड आफ्टर अ स्पेल ऑफ बैड डे सिंस इट्स डिविडेंट डे वेदांता ऑल्सो वॉज अप देर वॉज सम पॉजिटिव टॉक फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट टूडे अबाउट द स्टील इंडस्ट्री टाटा स्टील वॉज अप सेल एज वेल हाफ परसेंट एन एम डी सी अप जोमैटो हैड अ पर्टिकुलरली गुड डे फाइव परसेंट अप द एंटायर आई टी पैक वॉज लुकिंग गुड टूडे पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट द एनर्जी पैक हैड रेड रिटर्न ऑल ओवर इट टूडे नियरली एवरी स्टॉक एक्सेप्ट जे एस डब्ल्यू एनर्जी वॉज डाउन दैट टू ऑन हाई वॉल्यूम्स ना टूडे इफ यू रिलेटेड टू येस्टर डेज वीडियो आई ओ सी वॉज अप बी पी सी एल वॉज अप एच पी सी एल वॉज अप रिलायंस वॉज डाउन ओ एन जी सी वॉज डाउन ऑयल इंडिया वॉज डाउन एम आर पी एल एक्सपोर्ट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टफ दैट इट प्रोड्यूस इंक्लूडिंग ए टी एफ एंड हाई स्पीड डीजल सो द रीडिंग येस्ट डे आर होपफुली गुड ओनली आई टी सी वॉज अप वन परसेंट टूडे दैट हेल्ड द फूड एंड टोबैको सेक्टर टूगेदर हिंदुस्तान लिवर डिड नॉट गो एनी वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द अदर स्टॉक्स वर्ड डाउन कंजम्पन नॉट अ ग्रेट डे ऑटो वॉज डाउन हाफ परसेंट ऑल टॉप प्लेयर्स इन द रेड बट नो मेजर कट्स डीप कट्स इन द टॉप स्टॉक्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री सीमेंट मिक्स बैग द टॉप टू प्लेयर्स वर्ड डाउन इंश्योरेंस वॉज मिक्स बैग एल आई सी इज स्टिल फार ऑफ फ्रॉम इट्स फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग टॉप थ्री प्लेयर्स इन द ग्रीन मोतिया लोसवाल इज एट नंबर टू एयरटेल वॉज डाउन टूडे ऑल्सो वन परसेंट वाइल इंडस वोडाफोन एंड टाटा कम्युनिकेशन वॉज अप नथिंग सोल्ड टूडे बट इट वॉज अ डे ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट स्मॉल वन ओनली जे एम फाइनेंशियल ट्रेडिंग रीजन इट हैज बीन गोइंग अप एवरी डे सी डी एस एल आई डी बी आई बैंक के फिन टेक आई टॉक अबाउट दैम इन द नगेट सेक्शन टाइम फॉर टूडेज नगेट बिफोर आई गेट इन टू आई इन्वेस्टेड टूडे इन आई डी बी आई लेट मी गो थ्रू अ बिट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू बाय अ स्टॉक से आई डी बी आई एंड देर इज अ सेलर अवेलेबल हु वॉन्ट्स टू एक्जिट आई डी बी आई बट यू डोंट डायरेक्टली गो टू द एक्सचेंजेस यू नीड अ ब्रोकर समथिंग लाइक एन आई सी आई सी डायरेक्ट और एच डी एफ सी सिक्योरिटीज और अरोदा सो द बायर गोज टू ब्रोकर लुकिंग फॉर द प्राइस द सेलर लिस्ट वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू सेल विद देयर ब्रोकर नाउ बोथ बायर एंड सेलर शुड हैव प्लेस द ऑर्डर ऑन द सेम एक्सचेंज टू हैव गॉट मैच सो वाइल बी एस सी एंड एन एस सी वुड डू द ट्रेडिंग द शेयर सर्टिफिकेट्स आर नॉट हेल्ड बाई एस सी और एन एस सी फॉर दैट यू नीड अ डिपोजिटरी ऑल योर सर्टिफिकेट्स योर होल्डिंग्स इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड प्री आई पी ओज बॉन्ड्स दे आर कैप्ट विद वन ऑफ द डिपोजिटरीज इट कुड बी एन एस डी एल और सी डी एस एल नाउ वेरियस ब्रोकर एसोसिएट इधर विद एन एस डी एल और सी डी एस एल सो आई सी एस सी डायरेक्ट एच डी एफ सी आई एफ एल कोटक दे आर रजिस्टर्ड विद एन एस डी एल सी डी एस एल हैज अ बंच ऑफ अदर ब्रोकर द बिगेस्ट वन ऑफ दैम इज जरोदा सो यू मेट हैवीन एट टाइम्स दैट जरोदा हैड एन ओ टी पी प्रॉब्लम यू कुड नॉट सेल द स्टॉक्स दैट वॉज बिकॉज सी एस डी एल कुड नॉट सेंड द ओ टी पी टू यू इट वॉज नॉट अ जरोदा इश्यू नाउ एन एस डी एल एंड सी डी एस एल वुड कीप एन इन्वेंट्री ऑफ वॉट यू होल्ड दे डू अ लॉट मोर देन दैट ऑल्सो एज डिपोजिटरी बट ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्पोरेट नीड्स टू कैरी आउट लॉट ऑफ इवेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम पीपल नीड टू गिव डिविडेंट some people need to make sure that a bonus for example reliance will need now there could be a rights issue so for that there are two companies primarily kfin tech and cams which are called registrars registrars work with both nsdl and cdsl typically corporates associate with either cams or kfin tech historically larger companies have associated with cams but that's not a rule it is a choice of the corporate which company will offer them better services and better rates now it is lot more complex i have tried to oversimplify it so it's easy to understand this company kfin tech is listed cams is listed bsc is listed cdsl is listed nsc is in pre ipo nsdl also is in pre ipo i hold nsc in pre ipo i have bsc which i bought recently NSDL I tried to buy yesterday but I could not CDSL I bought today Kfin Tech and Cams also I bought very little today to try and cover the entire landscape and I'll tell you why I'm interested in the landscape in the next slide so CDSL NSDL Kfin Tech and Cams they are money minting machines they make money from literally everything IPOs corporate actions transactions some charges are fixed for example if you sell a share on CDSL even a single share they would charge you 13.5 rupee per share per day so even if your share is worth 1 rupee you will have to pay 13.5 even if you have transacted for 1 crore you will have to pay 13.5 plus gst of course and these charges will go up only as the market volumes go up as more and more stocks get listed stock prices will also go up so the transaction size will go up eventually that's my general theory now there are bunch of things using cdsl nsdl make money this one will explode in this quarter lot of money will be made 
in the entire gamut of things because of the IPO explosion that we are witnessing in this quarter. Also volumes have exploded so transaction charges will be also very high. Now this is CDSL's revenue graph looks like a very promising exponential curve at least next two three years this graph should move in the same proportion now while going through the fundamentals of all, all the stocks i was trying to go for nsdl also however the amc i'm associated with they said it is not available for selling at all the market cap for nsdl is 17000 crore note this amount i'll talk about it i compared nsdl and cdsl NSDL's revenue is higher for 2023. NSDL has faced a lot of issues with the regulator in the past also thanks to its patronage where NSC owns a significant portion of NSDL. That is also perhaps the reason why its IPO is delayed. The market cap for NSDL is lower than CDSL. This is what excited me. I wanted to buy NSDL and make some money when it finally lists. The interesting part was NSDL is mostly owned by IDBI Bank 26%. The second one is National Stock Exchange 24%. Between them, they own 50% or half of NSDL. HDFC Bank owns 10%. These are hidden gems of information which are not publicly available. At 17,000 market cap, which I believe by now would have been at least 20 or 25,000 crore, this take is easily worth 5 to 6,000 crores. Now I wanted to validate whether the shareholding is up to date and latest only. So I went to NSDL site. Yes, there was a section called statement showing shareholding pattern. Let me zoom it. Here are IDBI and HDFC bank 26%, 8.95%. SBI owns 5%. Deutsche Bank AG owns 5%. Overall, domestic institutions own 72% of NSDL. The other major holdings 24% from National Stock Exchange. So that is where I started exploring IDBI. I have not invested ever in IDBI. At some point, because of the EPS continuously improving, the PE should get revised a bit. And especially when monetization happens, suddenly cash will hit, EPS will increase suddenly. There could be a jump one time maybe, but markets will like it. IDBI in general has been trying to reinvent. Now I don't know whether all that will become successful or not. I'll not buy a major stake in IDBI till I'm convinced. But at least for now, as a proxy for NSDL, I have bought IDBI so that I have the complete map covered in my portfolio. Now we could say, why don't you pick the top company, maybe CDSL or something. But at this point, I don't know which will be the top company next two, three years. I would want to keep my options open, invest in both companies. Hope this style of evaluation was useful. This video is for educational purpose only. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.